good evening welcome back to another vlog here on coast of crazy yeah i'm currently driving through the city center of dubai uh just been to a small park land of legends it was all right or oh, island of legends sorry just wanted to show you this as i'm driving the building there on the left is the brand new um museum of the future um yeah it only opened a few weeks ago uh, one of my friends uh, Jeff, who's on the, used to work in the UK uh, as a crane operator, actually works out here, actually putting the cranes up now. But oh man, it's just, it's insane, the, the buildings and it's unbelievable. I mean, I'm on this road now for 27 miles until I get to Bollywood, which is obviously where I'm going to now, because you've, you've seen the title, you've clicked on the video. Uh, unfortunately, I'll all be there for three hours because the park closes at nine o'clock and it's just well, it'll be six o'clock by the time I get there uh, but oh it's unbelievable uh, if you're into architecture tall buildings and just just a city environment you've got to get yourselves out to Dubai and come and experience this it's unbelievable but uh, yeah I'm gonna put the camera away in a second you should be able to see the Burj Khalifa the world's tallest building oh it's there it's there you can see it it's there. I've already been up it. No, I'm not doing it on this trip. We did it in 2019. I have a vlog on the channel. It's in the Dubai attractions vlog. Go and check it out. We went to the top of the Burj Khalifa. Uh, at, at the top, it's called. So, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable here. It really is crazy. It's insane just looking at that and knowing that that's the world's tallest building. And there's nothing going to top that for a long time. It's just the, the architecture out here is amazing. Everything, we just gotta watch out for nutters like that van driver there. <laughs> oh my God, it's insane. Right, I'll see you when I get to the park. Uh, welcome back to Riverland at Dubai, Dubai Parks and Resorts. Yes, uh, it, it took me about an hour to drive from the last park we were just at islands of adventure which was pretty cool i hope you enjoyed the vlog something a bit different hope you enjoyed the footage of the huge buildings which are incredible by the way um most of the buildings that you did see are the tall ones in dubai most of them are taller than anything that we've got say in london or even in europe so yeah, as you probably know the, the, the crack now, uh, if you watch the Motion Gate Dubai vlog. We walk down this bit here and then do a left. Probably have to take my glasses, sunglasses off and put my glasses back on again. The sun is going down, so I wanted to get in the park before it went dark. It's just gone six o'clock, so I've got three hours. Hopefully, if it's not too busy, I should be able to get on everything that's there. There's only a few dark rides. There's a new coaster to get on, a little junior coaster. Uh, I think it's another Zamperla. It's the same as what's already what they've already got in Legoland next door. There's the world's tallest star flyer at 260 feet, which is about 90 meters. It's 10 foot taller than the Orlando Star Flyer, um, and this is newer as well. And you'll see in a minute, when I film it, that it's actually painted white, red and blue. Now you might know this, that Bollywood Park is based around Indian films. India's flag is not red, white and blue. I think it's orange, green and something else. I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll show you if I see one of the flags here for India. So the reason why it's red, white and blue is because, well this is what Bruno said, it's the Six Flags colours. So uh, some of you might know, some of you might not know this, they were planning to build a Six Flags Dubai and it should have opened in 2019, but it was cancelled. So the rides that are in here now, the new rides that are in here now, and the two new rides that are in Motion Gate, the two coasters, they should have gone to the Six Flags Park, but they didn't. So yeah, they've also got the brand new GCI hybrid coaster over there. Unfortunately, it's still not open. So 
I'm a bit gutted about that, but we will, well, I will be definitely be coming back to Dubai in the future, not that long, probably maybe next year now, when the new SeaWorld Park opens up in Abu Dhabi. Uh, really looking forward to that. I loved Abu Dhabi, Ferrari World and Warner Brothers as well. Two of the best parks in the world. So yeah, welcome to Bollywood Parks Dubai. Yeah, and if you didn't know, uh, there is four parks here. So Motion Gates over there, you can just see the drop tower, Zombie Blast off just there. Uh, so Motion Gates there, I parked in the car park, in the VIP, because the general car park is now a COVID testing area. So you park in a VIP, there must have been about, say, a hundred cars in there, and it's free parking everywhere. Not paid for a single car park while I've been here. Bollywood's here, Riverland's in the middle, a couple of hotels, including Legoland Hotel, and then Legoland Park and the water park's just here as well, Legoland the water park as well. So yeah, I just got a couple of pictures for me thumbnail. I was probably waiting until these people get out of the way because I like a nice, a nice long wide shot. Preferably something like that. Maybe a little bit closer. That'd be pretty nice. Maybe another one higher up. And another one closer, yeah, so. Join me for the next few hours while I go around uh, Bollywood Park here in Dubai. Just want to mention about this uh, Dubai Go City uh, app that I was actually recommended by well, a few people even before we came in 2019. It doesn't, even though there's a QR code, I mean, you could screenshot it, I don't care. You could do what you want with it, to be honest. I've only got three days anyway. Um, but yeah, it doesn't actually work at the turnstile, so that's great, isn't it? You've got to go to guest services and actually redeem the, the, the code um, and get a card to get in. So uh, yeah, I'll go and do that right now. Right, so I'm actually in the park now. Yeah, like I said, I've got uh, <laughs> just under three hours. Um, yeah, there's, there's all sorts of stuff here. There's a lot of shows here, well, I say a lot, there's a few shows here. Uh, I'll probably be getting an Indian meal here as well before we before I finish. I think the actual Indian restaurant's maybe outside. Uh, there's a little small cafe here, which looks great. Really good theming in the park. Unfortunately, it is the case with most parks over here in Dubai, there is a no on-ride filming policy. Uh, I said with the GoPros, chest harness, any, is a, no, nothing. You can't film on dark rides, you can't film um, on, on anything. Uh, I think you can film the shows and on the Ferris wheel. So yeah, I'll get, I'll, I'll get that. <laughs> Other than that, it's basically just got to be a, a walk around the park, go on the rides and let you know what they are. Uh, I think the dark rides is a flying theatre. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's a flying theatre, I think there's an interactive shooting dark ride. So it's all based around Bollywood films. And it's very pretty. Especially with the uh, like the Taj Mahal type building in the background. I don't think it actually is the Taj Mahal, it's more of a, like a mosque. But it's a very, very pretty park. Right, I'll go around here first, get on the credit, and then find the dark rides. Uh, go on the world's tallest star flyer. It's a shame I won't be able to get any footage of that uh, at all, really. Unless I'm a bit sneaky. Uh, I, I could do that. Um, you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> it's not like I'll probably get told off for doing it anyway. I, 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 I highly, well, I will be back here, so I best behave. Because I want to come back for the, ro the wooden roller coaster. When I say wooden roller coaster. It's a hybrid, uh, it's a steel supports and uh, wooden track. So I'll go over and show you it before it gets dark. They're actually walking the track now, actually. Um, the other thing I would like to say as well is, and I think it's a bit top secret, but it's on RCDB anyway. They've actually got planning permission to do, um, to build two more coasters. One of them is a Mack Hyper Coaster. Uh, there's already two of them in the world. 
One of them is at Lands of Legends in Turkey. The other one is in, oh God, it's in China, I think. And it's got the world's tallest looping loop on it. Uh, really nicely themed restaurant there behind me with the trains. In fact, I'll turn you around. <laughs> you don't want to see my face all the time. Yeah, so they're actually stored. When I go on the Ferris wheel, I'll show you because you can see them, they're in the car park. If you go on Google Maps, and search uh, Bollywood Parks, it's there, you can see it. Oh my God, that Ferris wheel. Sorry, Starflyer, it's huge. Yeah, when I got it there, taxi something, oh, it's around here. Taxi number one. So it's my third credit of the day and the sun's just going down, so I'll get golden hour in as well. But before I go on that, I want to get some pictures of the wooden coaster before it goes dark. So we're in Rustic Ravine now. Yeah, this is all brand new around here. Massive expansion. Again, if you go on Google Maps, in fact, I'll show you. I'll show you while I'm here. Saves you bothering doing it. So I'll go on Google Maps where I am. Let's see if the GoPro's got able to pick it up. Right, so this is the Dubai Resorts, this whole section here. Uh, motion gates there, Bollywood's where we are, Lego land at the bottom. So I'll just move you away so I can zoom in. Oh. Right, so it's not great zooming in. So that basically that's a park entrance. I've walked in, I'm where the dot is now. The wooden coaster's there, but look at all this expansion around the side and around the back. Uh, and there's the coaster track. So you can see it, it's there. It's not, you know what I mean, it's it's not hidden. But yeah, look at this. Um, apparently a world record coaster. Uh, we don't know what the world record is. I think it's for airtime, I'm guessing. I mean, there's an airtime hill out of the station. Go out the station, there's a little airtime hill there before it goes onto the train, onto the, uh, onto the lift hill. And it looks like they're tensioning it up there. Oh, I'm gutted this isn't open yet. I am absolutely gutted. I would have loved to have come out and it'd be opening day today. Like soft opening or something and got on like the first train. Is it open? Ah, oh, come on lads, get it open. I've come all the way from the UK to ride this. Almost. Ah, oh, can I test it? Can I test it? I'm a UK, UK YouTuber, theme parks, roller coasters. Oh. Yeah, 30,000 subscribers. I want, to be the, I want to be the first person to ride it. We'll invite you. Eh? We'll invite you. Yeah. What's your YouTube channel? Coaster Crazy. I do. Which one? Coaster Crazy. Coaster Crazy. crazy. Yeah, Coaster Crazy. This one's crazy. Oh, it looks it. It looks it. Is it fast? We don't, we, we didn't try yet. You've not been on it? Have you not tested it yet? Ah, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. come on lads. The whole world is waiting for this brand new coaster from GCI. Yeah. World record holder. Yeah. The time is coming. Is it? Yeah. Uh, eh? yeah. yeah. So do, do you do you know when it might open? Have you got any yeah, yeah. no idea? I'll keep looking out for it. It looks amazing though, lads. Yeah. Keep up the good work there. Ah, oh, what a shame. Coaster crazy. Coaster crazy, subscribe. From GCI. GCI. Oh, I'm absolutely gutted, but look at it. I'll get as many pictures as I can. I just asked one of the operator, one of the guys if he'd take a picture for me. Um, up on the lift hill, but he's not allowed. He'll get told off because there's like cameras and stuff everywhere. That's pretty much as best I, I can get for pictures, really. The station looks really good. Wait, look, yeah, look what I mean around here. I hope we ain't getting copyrighted off this Indian music. It's not open. It's not open yet. They're still fixing it. They're still building it. Ah, oh, photo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're still they're still building it get it open <laughs> got the get get the goddamn thing open please i'm begging someone 
sorry, it's just me going around taking pictures while I'm here. I'll get some night time. I'm not like there's got to be any lights on it. It looks awesome though. So yeah, they've gone for a hybrid coaster because of the heat in the summertime. Dubai can reach up to 50 degrees um, Celsius, so that's hot. So if it was a fully wooden coaster, it wouldn't have survived. It would have, it would have gone pretty rough pretty quick, like Guazi did at uh, Bush Gardens in Tampa. Now obviously that's an RMC, so hopefully it survives um, and does really well for the park. I know a few people already have been on it and said it's not as good as Zadra, which I'm quite happy to hear about because I love Zadra. Uh, get this, get it open. Oh, beautiful park though, really well, nice, detailed. Right, I've got my first coaster credit of the park and my only coaster credit of the park and, and, until that opens and the other two coasters. Oh yeah, the other, the other coasters are Mac power splash like uh, Pulsar at Wallaby Belgium it's, it's a bit it's a busy day busy day five minutes yeah unfortunately I, I won't be able to get any footage on this at all so I'll see if I can get some off ride if anyone else is on it but yeah it's basically a little junior coaster a little Zamperla I think I've just come up the wrong I think I've just come up the wrong bit I don't think it matters <laughs> Yeah, uh, taxi number one as it's known, with the awesome taxi theming. Three lap special, little Zamperla. Yeah, it's all right, it's, it's a kiddie coaster. It's nothing compared to that beast there, is it? You know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm gutted that's not open, I really am. I don't even think there's a, I don't even think there's a train in the station, but there is because there's some very dodgy um, testing footage filmed on there and I would have loved to have even if they were just testing it would have been able to just strap the GoPro to it but yeah there's a there's a very strict no on-ride filming policy here at this park unfortunately um, I'll probably queue up and do the star fly before it gets too dark doesn't really matter about the dark rides because they're um, dark rides <laughs> um, I'll get a, maybe get a drink or something so I'll do this uh, there's a couple of little um, flat rides that are new as well oh man i've never this will be the tallest star flyer i've ever been on and if you've watched the channel for a while you know that yeah i do operate tower cranes for a living and i'll probably go on about it too much but i'm terrified of these i really am i think it's through here but yeah they've got some shows here there's a, a there's a stunt show uh, there's the f uh, flying theater could do with the toilet as well Oh, brand new Zamperla rocking tug. Yeah, I won't be doing the kids co uh, kids rides. Or games, as they call them over here. Looks like they're about to send the Starflyer. There's a little drop, kiddie drop tower over there as well. And that's about it for the new rides. The Ferris wheels over there. I don't think it's as big as, as the other one we just done today. Although saying that, it could be the same size. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's oh, there were seats available. No, that's the wrong ride. <laughs> wrong ride. That's Cabra Dabra. There's rocking tug. Yeah, over here. Wow, look at the size of this thing. <laughs> you can you can literally see this from miles around. It's absolutely insane. Yeah, 260 feet in the air that goes. And it goes upside down as well, apparently. Bye -bye. See if we can... No, no, he wasn't, he wasn't listening. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Wow. Wow. I'll queue up and get some footage from over there. <laughs> Have you been on it yet? Yeah. Yeah, good. It's awesome. Yeah. You love it. Awesome, he said. Not yet. Go. The world's oh tallest. Oh, yes. World's yes. tallest. Yeah, wow. Oh <laughs> yeah, not much of a key line. Have I come down the wrong I think I've come down the wrong key line again? I don't think it matters. 
Oh, is this the exit? Gate will, gate will open by attendant. Oh, I can stand here. Yeah, I don't know what that... Oh, I don't know. I'm lost. Oh my God, I can't even see the top of it. Well, that starfly right there, the world's tallest starfly, was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> yeah, it, I wish I could have filmed on Yeah, there was no sneaking GoPros or phones or nothing on that. You've got to put everything in a box. So the, op, the, op, uh, the operator stands in the, the booth over there. It's got a glass roof and they're looking up. You might be able to get away with it at night time. They might, or they might see your screen. But I, I'm, jo I'm not joking. I've been stood here 10 minutes waiting for them to send it. So I can get some off-ride shots for you uh, before I go into the next attraction, which is just there. It's Cholet. Uh, I think it's an interactive dark ride. But everyone is, yeah, it's coming off it. Absolutely loving it. Yeah, it's a fantastic ride. It, the views were amazing. Obviously, it won't be as good now because we're in the middle of a desert. <laughs> um, so you won't be able to see anything. Plus, uh, Motion Gate next door is closing soon. But I think they keep the lights on anyway. Uh, but yeah, face masks again. Uh, go and check out my first dark ride here at Bollywood Park. And I'll make sure that I get the, uh, the stand. Oh, single riders. That's, oh, there is no single rider entrance. All right, let's go. See what this is about. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what this is. Pretty sure it's an interactive dark ride, shooting, like a shooting one. It looks like some sort of cartoon base. <laughs> Yeah, Bollywood films. I have no idea about them. I've never watched a Bollywood film in my in my life. Oh, here's 3D uh, 3D glasses. 3D glasses. Is it a trackless dark ride or what? I don't know. Hello. Sir. Hello. All right, so we've got a big revolver. Yeah, proper guns. Oh Jim. wow. The new sunsets. Let's train them. Oh god. Oh, this is brilliant! I'm on my own as well! I've got to say that was one of the, well, not the best, but one of my favourites. Uh, interactive shooting dark rides. I love that. <laughs> they like the uh, they like the cartoon characters on the screen. The guns were quite weighty and actual revolvers uh, vibrated as well when you pulled the trigger. Uh, really enjoyed that. Yeah, there was a few little set pieces as the cars moved around from screen to screen, but no, I really enjoyed that as well. Uh, yeah, fantastic uh, little dark ride in, in, in the park. It might be a bit, uh, a bit violent for kids, you know, going around shooting people and stuff. But no, it's, it's really good. I really enjoyed that. Uh, I'm not sure where the next dark ride is. There's a 
there's a show on here i think is this that the bang there's a yeah spicy no that's a restaurant what's this is this the bang there's a stunt yeah i think this is the stunt show there's no sign for it at all i think unless they've closed it up I don't know what they've done. Yeah, there's a border across it. There's fences across it. Oh, I think this is all closed up now. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, I think this is the uh, the stunt show that was here. It looked really good from what I've seen. Yeah, it's a stunt show. There's a seating for it there on the other side. Yeah, it's all closed up and shot up. So, so I've, I've missed that show or that timing or they don't do it anymore. I don't really know. But there's no signs for it. There's no, there's nothing. Um, it's, I'm pretty sure it's called the bang, um, but it, there's, there's nothing. There's no times boards or nothing. There's a restaurant there that's all closed. The spicy daban. I'm not even. I'm not even pronounce, trying to pronounce the words here, but they're still trying. To, I think they're still waiting to send that <laughs> star flyer. Right, find the other dark rides. I think there's only a couple here. I, I, I'm guessing I'm probably not going to be able to make the shows uh, tonight, if there's any. There's one, uh, it's like a, like a X Factor style show, where you get a keypad and you got to vote for your favourite singer. Uh, the one is not my sort of thing. I, I, I used to like Pop Idol and X Factor back in the day, but They've been going for 20 years, it gets a bit boring after a while. Pretty much like my uh, my channel will be in 20 years. <laughs> Never mind. But yeah, very close to 30,000 subscribers. So up this way, it, it doesn't really, yeah, it's not telling me about the rides. Little drop tower there. I could do with getting something to eat, but I'd rather wait until the park closes and go and get something. Because uh, I want to get on the rides. Hi, Hi uh, Yeah, YouTube. Coaster Crazy on YouTube. Subscribe. Nearly 30,000. You're on it. You're famous. Coaster Crazy. Coaster Crazy. Quentin, Quentin. Go on. Have you got it? Have you got it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, subscribe, subscribe. Oh, Thank you. 30,000. You're all on it now. Famous. Yeah, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you. Tell all your friends. Tell them all. Tell them all. You're all on it. Yeah, that's it. You're on it. You're on it. I'm filming right now. What, my, what I say is, you're all on the telly. <laughs> if that makes sense to anyone. No. So if you watch it back, you can watch it on the TV, yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, you're on it. Coaster Crazy. Okay. Hey, have you um, have you been on all the rides? Yes, yes, yes. 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 We, we, this is not scary. We went to this one. What? We, um, we went to this ride. Yeah, have you been on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Good? Yes. yes. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Have you got the motion gates? Huh? Have the, the what? Motion gate. Motion gate, yeah, it's yeah, awesome. Nice. I went yeah. there on Monday, it's there on the channel. You, 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 went, to, you went to the John Wick? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, not that one. Uh, I've not been yet, but yeah. You're on it, you're on it. I've got to go, I haven't got time. <laughs> Cheers, no worries. <laughs> they love it. Cheers. Subscribe. Coaster Crazy, subscribe. He's on it. There you go. <laughs> we have 50,000 subscribers by the time I finish this vlog. <laughs> that would be awesome, wouldn't it? Uh, but yeah, that's how you do it. Spread the word. Wow, look at that. I don't even know what that is. I think that's the main show. There's one of the characters out here. Yeah, I think I've, I think I've missed the shows. The park's not massive anyway. Get some more pictures. Follow me on Instagram. Sorry, get my phone out of the way. Uh, Coaster Crazy Andy on Instagram and Coaster Crazy on Facebook as well. Am I looking red? I think I've, I think I've got like a strap mark from my cap. <laughs> Never mind. I don't even know where the rides are. I'm just wandering around. I knew that the the little coaster and stuff was back that way. But yeah, really nice in here. It's a really good lighting at these parks. And the other thing is as well. Do you prefer me vlogging like close up like that, like I normally do, or how's that? 
Is that even better? I don't know. Yeah, some different angles on the go. It's a good thing about using the GoPro. It's, it fits so much in the screen, including me at the same time as everything else. <laughs> so people go, oh, all you do is show your face, but I'm not. Look, there's a whole lot of park all the way around me. <laughs> this is another one of the new rides, one of them Zamperla flying effort things. I've never been on one, not my sort of thing. Oh, everything's closed. Yeah, there's the Indian cuisine place. Oh, I'm absolutely gutted. Unless the park's closing early, I don't know. It'd be a shame if it is. Still got a flying theatre to do. Some stuff down here, go on the... Uh... Oh, I was gonna show you the coasters, wasn't I? The coaster track. I will be able to see it now. Rodeo, Kai, something. Oh, this looks interesting, little flat ride. Go and give this a go. Rodeo, looks like a little break dance, but it's not. Entrance. Oh yeah, it's like a little spinning flat ride. Oh, I'll give this a go. Yeah, the little <laughs> little rodeo ride was all right. Yeah, it's the three, it's the three tiered one, uh, like they've got a Europa Park. The one at Poland's is only a two tiered one. I just want to point out something. I have just texted and messaged a couple of people uh, about the Star Flyer being. 264 the world's tallest it's not it's not it's 460 so i apologize now because if i'd not been corrected i would have carried on the whole vlog thinking it was 264 it's not it's 464 <laughs> it is trust me it is 460 <laughs> i just want to point that out because i bet there's people have been watching it if i have said 260 and thought oh my god what an idiot but i am uh, you also got this little splash battle here. Um, yeah, another new. So they installed quite a lot of new rides. I remember when a friend came uh, quite a few years ago and there was nothing really, just a few dark rides. Um, and yeah, they've been added a load of new rides, which is good to see. Some really nice lighting around. Probably give the Star Flyer a go. Yeah, the rides close at 8.50, so. I've just I've got just over an hour and the uh, the show I was right the bank is no more it's uh, it's closed due to covid uh, which is a shame so yeah going on the beautiful ah, it's nice to take the weight off your feet oh my god there's an echo in here isn't there <laughs> yeah I've got one on my own yeah the uh, ferris wheel I can't remember what it's called something I'll look at my picture, but uh, yeah, you can hear the noise, air conditioning, very nice indeed. You can't see a great deal out, unfortunately, I was going to say about the uh, the, the uh, track pieces, you probably will be able to see when we get further up, I think, I think this is taller than the one we did at um, the Island of Legends, uh, back at West Sahara, wherever it was. Um, so this is probably currently the, uh, the tallest ferris wheel in the area, which is sad. Yeah, I will be getting some footage of the of the new ferris wheel over on Blue Water, because um, we weren't a Madden Two Swords. And then I think I'm going back to IMG Worlds of Adventure tomorrow. I haven't booked it. I've got the I've got the code on my phone anyway. I can go. That was one of the attractions I could go to. Um, so yeah, it's a good park. What's this thing called? Wheel of Stars. There you go. <laughs> Wheel of Stars. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look out the window. Oh, it's not too bad on the camera, I suppose. Just a lot of dirt on the windows. It's really slow as well. It's like continuous. It doesn't stop moving. So I'm all right saying that last ride down there is a splash battle. It's not quite a splash battle, is it? I just watched my footage back because I've just had to change the battery. So if you saw that last clip uh, chopping a bit rubbish, it's because my battery died. Um, but yeah, the little spinning 
water rides. I'm pretty sure they're called the Splash Battle. It's the same as the one that's on a track. Yeah, so you've got Motion Gate Dubai just over there. You can just see the red thing in the centre of the screen right now. That's the Zombie Blast Off. You can see the Capital Bullet Train. And that's about all oh, the DreamWorks building at the back. That's about it, really. Uh, would it be nice to be able to turn the lights off in it, but I don't think that's an option. See so what we can see on the other side. There's also a table in the middle as well. Yeah, we'll just see him. Yeah, you can't see the coaster track. You can't even see my hand pointing. It's that dark up here. But you can just see, again, in the centre of the screen, it's my hotel, uh, the road, that's how close it is to this area. Really big, there's the Legoland water park just down there. And Legoland itself, just over there. So I could, I mean, I could do Legoland again, but I, if I'm honest, I didn't really enjoy it last time I came. huge ferris wheel currently potentially the tallest ferris wheel in the area <laughs> uh, that i know of anyway that's operating by the way uh, yeah a, a full 10 minute ride it wasn't too bad at all it is massive as well it's really slow though you wouldn't want more than a couple of rides on that it was pretty boring <laughs> Yeah, there's there's no atmosphere at this place at all. I have just messaged a couple of people and hello said yeah it's it's alright, it's got a couple of good rides. I just you know, when a park installs a, a massive new world class well potentially world class um coaster with the uh, bomb i didn't even tell you what the name was, yeah, Bombay Express it's going to be called. Um and it's been stood there for quite a few months now and they haven't even tested it, is it's a bit of a shame. Uh, the star flyer was really good, but I think some of the lighting on it's out of sync or not working properly. Because sometimes you can look at it and uh, some of the lights are not on. It's really cool how they've got advertising something at the top. There's a big screen around the top advertising something, but it's so far away you can't see it. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, I mean, yeah, it's nice. I'm just, yeah, I've, I've missed a few things, haven't I, really? You know, there's like a little show or something. Look at it here, though. It's just, it's dead. It's quarter to eight at night. You know, I know it's midweek and all, but if there were parks in the UK open midweek on, you know, school term at eight o'clock, people would be going straight after school and work. You know, that's, that's how it works. That's why you have the park open later. So everyone can enjoy it, even if you're... You know, if you've even if you've gone to work. Oh, here we are. This is this is the fine theatre, and there's another dark ride in here. And I think that's about it. This cinema. Oh yeah, cine magic. Oh, it's this um, the cinema show, uh, like special effects and stuff. Oh, I'll do the dark rides. I'll do the dark rides. I'm here now. <laughs> I can do this show in a bit. Yeah, it's like a special effects show, like they did a. Uh, I don't know if they still do it, like um, at Universal Studios Florida. So yeah, Hall of Heroes, and then I'll come out and get a picture from over there. But that's it, I've pretty much walked around the whole entire park. Oh wow, yeah I need a drink as well. So you've got uh, Krish, which is the flying theatre, uh, and Ra One, Unleashed. Give the flying theatre a go, hopefully not waiting too long. Yeah, I won't get any footage off this. It's a flying theatre. Great ride. It'll be very unique, whatever it is anyway. Oh my god. Such a shame even having these parks over here. You know, it's a big Indian culture in the UK. Why is there not a Bollywood park in the UK? Would it be popular? Would people visit it? I don't know. They're obviously not visiting this one, are they? Oh, 
Yeah, so this is the rad system there. I couldn't film anything even if I tried. It's a big screen. It's on a big platform and it all sort of lifts. You can see how it works. And then the platform spins and then the seats turn as well. So yeah, it was all right actually. Literally no idea what it was about. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's basically this guy, Krish, and he's flying around over different parts of um, India, uh, Taj Mahal and all that sort of stuff. And uh, saves you. That's it, that's all I got from it. Hey, respect. That's right for your YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, subscribe, Coast the Crazy. Subscribe and get the bell icon. Yeah, there you yeah. go, yeah, <laughs> cheers. All right, now back in the uh, central hub. Yeah, pretty much done a lap of the whole park. Got myself a, well, there was no diet drinks and I'm, I've had loads of water on this trip. Yeah, I got myself a seven up. Other carbonated drinks are available. Right, what I've got to do is I think there's some sort of cricket based dark ride back down here that I might have missed, I think. Uh, and then I'm going to get some food because uh, the last ride that I didn't do there was a rope across and somebody said oh you're going to have to wait because uh, they just put someone in there uh, and I think it's a 4D cinema I've done hundreds of 4D cinemas oh Don, yeah this is a this is a ride here, Don Don the Chase, I forgot about this one uh, so yeah this looks pretty good, I mean the theme looks great I'm going to put my mask back on again and then I think yeah there's some sort of cricket based dark ride as well Yeah, I can't remember if it, I think it's a trackless dark ride. Yeah, it's done. Yeah. I've no idea who Don is, but the thing is really cool. It's like a crime scene in here, so obviously been a murder of some sort. Things are broken. Oh, some sort of criminal. Mo Don, man on the run, here we go. There's a man on the run, Don. Most notorious criminal. There are bullet holes in the walls as well. That's really cool detail theming. Yeah, go and get a... I'll go and see about this other ride after this and then that'll be it. I think there's some sort of... Um, show. But I'll yeah, get out of them, miss them. I'll get some food and then I head back to the hotel. I've still got to um, edit the motion motion gate vlog, which I think is probably about two hours long. Oh, there we are. There's a 3D, I think it might be a 3D motion based ride, I don't really know. Well that was Don, uh, still no idea who Don is but um, it was basically like the oh, uh, what can I describe it like probably if you've been, I've not been on it yet but I'm pretty sure it's like the uh, Fast and the Furious ride at Universal Studios it's one of the immersive tunnel rides so you get on a, a big bus basically and you drive into a tunnel and it moves left and right and screen around it was 3D but they've taken the 3D off just the same as they have done with the Hunger Games um, uh, aerial tour ride <laughs> in next door in motion Dubai because of the Covid and it was actually alright to be honest um, yeah it wasn't bad at all um, it's basically you have got a chase in a car um, and then you, you're going down the street in Dubai you've got all the big buildings around you and then you get picked up by a helicopter so then you're flying through the air it wasn't too bad actually it was all right for what it was uh, right i've got to go and find like this cricket themed dark ride i think it's over the back over there somewhere i'm not entirely sure and then other than the 4d cinema i think i've pretty much done everything that i can do here at this park uh, i'm just very thankful that they've got some of the some of the newer rides like the coaster and some of the flat rides uh, I'll just walk past one, the little drop tower and 
the Starflyer that's definitely not 260 foot, definitely 460 foot. <laughs> and the wheel as well, because otherwise there wouldn't be anything here. So yeah, oh, there is a sign there showing you what there is. I think it's here, something, yeah, Champions Cricket Carnival. But I thought there might have been some sort of trackless dark ride here, because it's... I don't even think that, I don't even know if that 4D cinema back there that I missed has even got 4D on it. I don't really know, but yeah, this is a, another attraction. Yeah, this is the one I thought. Wasn't sure, I've stood over there before. Could have come over here, but I ended up going on that uh, shooting ride as well instead, which is pretty good. I think that's probably the best ride here, actually. I quite like the little interactive shooting dark ride. Oh, there's some rides in here. Oh, okay, I get it. So it's an indoor section with a ride. Uh, Lag Lagan Lagan uh, champ Champion uh, Cricket ca ca Carnival. Oh God, no idea. I need to learn to speak English. <laughs> oh, there's a little carousel in here. So there's loads of stuff for the kids at this park. A little Ferris wheel for the kids. And there's this Lagan Thrill of Victory. Let's have a look at what this is. I think this is pretty much the last ride here at the park. If not, I'll um, I'll have to try and find a map. Um, try and find a map and then I'll let you know in the comments if there was anything that I missed out. Um, yeah, I would say I would say the interactive shooting ride's probably more my thing. I, I quite enjoyed that. Um, Don back then, but no, it's all right. It's just, it's just a different, it's just a di different atmosphere over here, isn't it? The parks are completely different to what you're used to. You know, not being out of film, not even on dark rides like the the last one. Then Don, I sat down. I, I just had the GoPro in my hand. I uh, completely forgot to put it in me um, in me bag. And the guy come over and said, "Could you put your camera away? No GoPros allowed." I'm like, oh, "Okay." So. I don't know. I don't really know. Yeah, I have no idea what this is. Some sort of show or a trackless dark ride or a 3D sort of show. But I'm sure I will let you know when I come off the ride. And then I'm going over to get some yum yum. I think this might be the last, yeah, the last ride. It's... Wow, that was awesome. I wish I could have filmed on there. In fact, the guy next to me had his phone out and I did say, look, you, you want to be careful because they'll be watching you. And the, the, they did watch him and they collared him filming and he'd spotted and he put his phone away. But you can see why there's no one live filming on that. Lagan, thrill of victory, I've got to say, hands down, the best ride here. It's possibly one of the best rides at the whole resort. That was really, really good. It's basically a motion simulator, but it's got four tiered sections with uh, two roads of four felt like i was sat on a, a gerslau euro fighter had a lap bar like a motion simulator with a lap bar and if you ever watched uh sean's vlog when he came with uh with his friend uh in 2018 they said the same thing about this the screen quality on that it's like nothing I've ever, well it is, it's like, it's like 4K quality screen, it was brilliant. Basically you were a cricket ball being batted around, it started off you was on a, like a wooden roller coaster, then you got batted around and he got caught and then there was slow motion bits. There was no 3D or anything and it didn't need to be but it was uh, really good, that was hands down the best ride at this park. Brilliant, right, I think I'm done. The, the park's closes in five minutes, so I hope I can get a seat at this Indian restaurant because I'll be uh, uh, really upset if I can't get no food because there's nothing else around here and I really want to get back to the hotel early and start editing some videos because I'm running out of memory card space. I've got another sort of longish day tomorrow. Full day at Madame Two Swords and then I've got the Storm Coaster and then might go to IMG World of Adventure as well. But yeah, not a bad little park. Yeah, it's not got the, the the biggest amount of rides, and they're not the you know the highest of quality rides I've ever seen. This isn't the place that I thought I've seen. This isn't an Indian restaurant at all. Nah, I don't want this. I want proper sit down. In nah, that's cool. 
No, it's not a proper, that's like a takeaway menu. Or a proper sit down Indian meal. I saw a, nah, it's not, that's not the one. It must be the one that's outside the park or another one that's in the park somewhere. That's definitely the, what, the one. They said that, I asked which is the best Indian, Indian restaurant to get food and he said here the where the trains are but that, that to me I didn't I was fast food surface so I want a proper sit down meal I've I've just been snacking all day on something substantial no burgers and stuff I ate stuff like that at theme parks I really do it's all right if you're quick and you want a quick bite to eat but I'd rather have a proper Indian meal I'll go and look for it yeah, sorry about that. I just turned the camera off for a second to ask the staff member uh, where the nearest Indian restaurant is, and she didn't speak much English. The guy, you could just see me behind me. Where's that? Is there somewhere? There's some guy. He spoke good English, Indian guy, because they normally say on the name tag where they're from. And he said, There's uh, the one in the train. I said, No, no, no. I want proper sit down table restaurant. And he's like, Oh, it's closed down for maintenance oh god it's like okay i said well where can i get is there any on river in the in the river land he says yeah it's just outside the park i'm like there yeah, thank you that's what i wanted to know <laughs> i'm pretty sure there was anyway because i saw it when i went to costa but i was just asking if there was one in the park and is it's like it's closed down but uh yeah <laughs> it's all right here I, i'd say i wouldn't come back again in a rush <laughs> and saying that i will be coming back because they want i want to get on that coaster i want to get on the gci uh, hybrid coaster because it looks awesome uh, from what i've seen on the outside of it i would get some more shots and pictures but it's pitch black there's no lights around there at all but the actual park is, is really pretty you know the audio is really good throughout the flooring's really nice there's some all right Right here, that uh, that last one I did, the cricket-based one, probably the most unique motion simulator ride of that type I've ever done. It was really good. Like the the the, the venue, the actual place uh, was really nice as well. That uh, well, where the screen was, really well themed up. It moved really violently though. You got proper thrown around. Really good. Uh, yeah, it's been all right here. I, I wish I had a little bit longer maybe another hour or two just to take it all in see it see everything else that's here i'm absolutely starving um i want some food it's been all right the starfly was great definitely not 260 foot um the ferris wheel was a bit boring i prefer it a bit faster than that but it was still nice um yeah it's, it's an all right park i mean yeah if you are coming to if you are coming to Dubai and you're doing the, the theme parks in this area, uh, please, yeah, it, it's make your own mind up. I mean, I said the same thing about Legoland. I wasn't keen on Legoland as well either, to be honest. Not as good as some of the other ones I've done, but if you combine all four parks, including the water park together, it's not a bad little trip. You know, it's all right. There's some good rides and some that you wouldn't see anywhere else. Motion Gates, world class, that's worth coming just for that alone it's it's brilliant and one of my favorite theme parks in the world i don't know if it still is they might have changed after going to Fantasyland at christmas and trying rookborough and uh, and fly out and staying at the lingberg hotel so that might be my new favorite theme park in the world but yeah anyway i'm gonna find something to eat i hope you enjoyed this vlog don't forget to comment like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for next time upload another video next vlog from here will be a full vlog from madame tussauds dubai and a little bit around the blue water section and then i'm going to check out the uh, the storm coaster at the dubai hills mall uh, and then maybe img in between but i'm not 100 on that but anyway i'll see you in the next one bye for now